What it do, y'all? This your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video for the night. And I want to know what were y'all thoughts when you first heard Tupac hit him up? Where were you at? What was the place? What was your initial reaction? I'm going to tell you how I first heard and what my reaction was. It came out the last day of school. We all had the maxi singles, which that was at the time was Pac. And Pac had a maxi single out of How Do You Want It? And it had How Do You Want It? California Love, Two of America's Most Wanted, and Hit Em Up at the last song. Now we jamming because you know it's the last day of school. How do you want it? Dudes and guys and girls dance with one another on there. California love, we part, we, we celebrate. Then it got, on the B side, it got a little darker. It got darker with two of the gangsta, two of America most wanted, nothing but a gangsta party. And then, this is where all hell breaks loose. That's why I F your bitch, you fat mother. And as soon as you heard that, Everybody was just quiet in the classroom. This nigga Pac was going off. And we heard many of this records before. But this record here sounded like a declaration of war. First off, your bitch in the click you claim. That's side where we ride, come with clip with game. You claim to be the player, but I f***ed your wife. We bust some bad boys, bust a touch for life. Oh my god. And he was just blatantly calling these niggas out. Biggie Smalls and Junior Mafia, some mark ass bitches. I was like, yo. Then he disrespected Lil' Kim. Gave him some of that backyard pimp talk. Snatched the wig up. I was like, oh my god. Then the Outlaws came out there. They did their thing. The Outlaws get a lot of flack. But those guys can rap, man. Fatal, he did his thing. Gaddafi did his thing. Castro did his thing. Edie's verse was a little weak, but they pretty much bounced off themselves pretty well. But the end part was where all of it came to a head. This nigga Pop just went on a rampage. He said, F bad boy, F biggie. Then he disrespected Mob D, disrespected Prodigy, talked about his sickle cell. We was like, oh my god. The room was just quiet. The reaction to this was just silence, man. You could hear a pin drop. If you die slow, motherfucker, all y'all fall, fall, all y'all kids go to book. We was like, wow. This dude is literally taking on a whole coast. And my reaction was, yo, this is on some other shit here, bitch. Somebody gonna get capped. Cause this disc record here is gonna start something. If it wasn't a civil war of hip hop, this was gonna be the one. So we was reading into the magazines, which was the source at the time. We was trying to follow up what was going on. We was following this whole thing week by week. And keep in mind, there was no internet around. We only had to go through music and magazines. We didn't really have the internet to a degree to rely on unless you had a lot of paper or you was in the suburbs. But a lot of people in the hood didn't really have internet like that. So we had to get our news through word of mouth and radio. I remember even K97.5, they didn't even want to put no respect on Pac after that. So... That record there changed the whole landscape of hip hop. It oh, it created a dynamic shift to where disrespect was on the next level. Total violation. I was thinking at that point to justify this, Biggie would have to shoot this nigga, yo. But unfortunately, this was one of the records here. Like, if it would have stayed on wax, which I doubt it would, I wouldn't have no issue with it, but. It created a lot of harsh memories and relieved a lot of dark times because Pac would be killed two months later, Biggie six months later. It created a domino effect. It left an impact in terms of levels of disrespect, but it also left an impact internal in terms of war that it opened. So this was my thoughts about Hit Em Up. It's still hands down one of the most impactful disc record next to Ether.
And one thing about Tupac's passion, well, it can't be matched. This record can never be duplicated. So this is my thoughts on Hit Em Up. What were you guys thought when you first hit him up? We first heard Hit Em Up in 96. Let me know. This is King Eric the Great signing out. Hit the subscribe button and I'm out. Peace.